Okay, let's get started. So here I am on my um, homepage and I'm just gonna start with the very basics. So first we have, um, you wanna go into your profile and you wanna click the little hamburger stand sign right there and then that brings you to your insights. So you can see that I posted today and that I, had a, I haven't had a story in 24 hours, I'm not creating any promotions, but this first page gives you that overview and just kind of gives you a really quick glance into how are things going. The next thing I actually love to do is I like to go into my audience tab. This is gonna tell you um, who your audience is, who's following you, and how you're doing. You can also look here and see things like unfollowed you to know if there was some content that actually maybe somebody didn't like or what happened if, you're if you feel like you're losing any followers. Then it comes to top locations. Not surprising since I tag all of my posts because I'm in Minneapolis, Minneapolis, that's where the majority of the people that are following me are living. But let's say you wanted to grow in a different country, a different city, a different location, you could start tagging either your captions or your locations with some of these different cities and see if that helps build up your exposure and your following in those areas. The next thing I look at is age range. So this is pretty um, comparable to my who my audience is. I know it's also who's on Instagram. So um, if you look at this, women in that 25 to 44 range, they're on Instagram, they're on Instagram a lot, but it's also who I am targeting. So what you can do with some of this is look at it and see, am I getting my fair share of who I wanna be targeting? Um, let's say you want to be talking to men. Okay, obviously I am not reaching a lot of men, but if I were trying to, then this would let me know that I need to do something to change things up so that I can be reaching more men. The other thing I look at is, um, at the bottom here, this followers, and when they're online, both in terms of the days and the hours. So this does lag back a week. So usually you can only see all of the data that came in for either the day before or the week before. So in this case, if I'm looking at things and I wanna be posting on Sundays, I know that the majority of my followers are actually online looking at Instagram between 3 and 6 p.m. because I'm looking at this 139 here. Now the other thing you can look at is days of the week. So my followers are pretty much online these days of the week. I do have a nice little spike here on Mondays. Um, that can also be because I post a lot on Mondays. So you can look at this and get a sense of when your followers are online when they're viewing your content, both in terms of days and hours of the day. Just to show you something a little bit different, here is Mondays. So Monday, again, we've got a nice little spike here at three to 6 p.m., but let's say I don't wanna schedule my content then because I'm not gonna be online to engage with anyone, that I could look at either scheduling later in the day or earlier in the day. After I look at audience, I go into activities. So this is telling me what I've done. You can see I only posted on Monday this week. Um, I was sick the prior week, so you can see what this shows. But what's great here is it starts to let me know, here are the accounts I'm reaching, here are my, here's my reach, so how many am I out there with, here's the impressions um, and interactions. The thing that I look at is it's really easy to get caught up in these numbers and feel like there's a number you should be reaching. I don't worry about that. What I do is I make sure that my numbers are always going up. As long as they are always going up, then I feel that my account is healthy for what I am doing with Instagram and what I'm using Instagram for. You can see with interactions, very, um, shockingly not that on Monday when I posted I had a lot of interactions interactions is the new followers so 
it's the new followers, it's the new likes. You want to make sure that your content is engaging the people that you're talking to. It is so much better to have fewer followers and have engaging content than it is to have a zillion followers and having them not engage. Things that I really like to look at are profile visits and website clicks. So I want to know if my content is moving somebody forward in the process. Are they clicking my profile? Are they clicking on a website? Are they interested enough to take the next step? So then after I've looked at all of this, I come back to content and I start to go into my specific posts. So if we look at this, what's great here is if you come up to the top, you can filter down all of this info. So for me, I actually ended up changing my strategy a few times in the last year, but in the last few months, I feel like I've been very consistent in talking about marketing. So what I actually want to do is I want to come into this date range and I'm going to change it to the past three months. So this is going to show me all of my posts in the past three months and how it did. So this is reach. So this is how many accounts I was able to reach. But what I actually love to do is look at my engagement. So which posts have the most engagement? And if I'm looking at this here, I can see that when I post an inspiring quote like failure is a bruise, not a tattoo, or give up being perfect for being authentic, I will get a spike in engagement. My audience loves to see that. The other thing you can see by my second post here with engagement is my dog, Gracie Lou. So she is very important to me in my life and in my business. And so I always want to show her a little bit, but I also keep in mind that honestly, anytime you post a pet on Instagram, people love it. So another thing you can look at are things like um, saves. So if you are providing value in your content and you're providing tips and tricks, then that's something you wanna look at. You want to know, are people saving your content? So I know in the past three months that when I talked about likes going away and I talked in that post about different metrics you can look at instead of likes, people were more likely to save that. So I know that is content that my audience values. So that is a tiny little update into analytics. I hope it was helpful. Send me a message with any questions or